Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to video number five in the high ticket affiliate marketing training series. Very excited to keep this going. Uh, in this video, I'm actually going to reveal some results that I've gotten from the actions that I took in day number four. And then also we will, of course, dive deeper into uh, really taking things to the next level. So, of course, real quick, if you are not subscribed to the channel, of course, I do have to mention this in the beginning of each video. Make sure you're subscribed, tap the bell icon, and you'll be notified whenever there's a brand new video in this series. Also, uh, if you missed any of the previous videos in this training series, you're going to want to go to the link down below. There's going to be a link that will include the playlist to this exact series right here. And uh, you'll be able to watch all of the videos in this series that I've uh, done from day number zero, which was the intro, day one, day two, day three, four, five, and so on and so forth. And so if you missed any of these previous videos, make sure that you go back and watch all of them in the order, in the correct order, so that this way you don't miss out on anything. Because if you just start from this video or any of these other ones and not from the beginning, then the stuff that we'll go over won't really make that much sense. So in this video specifically, uh, what we're going to be diving into is I'm going to first and foremost give you a bit of a recap for day number four, the previous video in this training. And then I'm going to show you a bit of results that I've gotten from the actions that I've taken so far. Um, so that'll be cool. Uh, next thing uh, that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go over a few apps that I'm going to recommend that you download for upcoming videos in this training. So there will be a few, a few recommendations and uh, some of these apps that I'll recommend are ones that you most likely have, but you know, I figured I would of course go over them in here. Uh, next thing is I'm going to show you how to come up with endless viral TikTok ideas that you can simply use and uh, pretty much you know, find video ideas that will potentially get you lots of views. Um, next thing, and the final thing in this uh, final section of this uh, today's training is I'm going to go over the viral video structure to follow, you know, and also some tips and tricks to help get you the best of results possible, right? So um, I'm actually going to show you some results that I've gotten uh, so far. And then also, I actually forgot to inc include this in here. I also made um, and I'm going to include this down below in the description as well. I have another um, template of videos that you could make, you know, for today as well. So if again, if you're brand new, if you're just getting into this and you want to, you know, get some more content out there without really having to, you know, do like much thinking or much planning, I actually like planned out, you know, five more videos you could make and, you know, simply just you know, you simply just do exactly what you did, you know, following the previous video. So assuming you watched that and took action on that, then you pretty much know what to do here. Film yourself for 15 seconds, add the headline, the hashtags, the sound, so on and so forth, and you're good to go. And then record all these on the five accounts, you know, one video per account, just like that. And then, then you're good to go for this specific, um, you know, for this specific day. Now, I just want to mention real quick that I'm going to do this for today. And then also the next video as well. And then after that, uh, you're going to be pretty much on your own to come up with video ideas. However, I'm still going to do everything that I can to make it as easy as as easy for you as possible, while also helping you potentially get the best of results, right? So the reason why I don't want you to just rely on, you know, just me providing this is because I want you to, to be able to get the best of results possible. And these videos, although they are easy and quick to make, uh, unfortunately, they may, they may not get like the best of results, right? They're not like viral potential videos, you know, is the one thing. So the main intention for this is to help you get your foot in the door and to help you start creating content if you're brand new, right? So that's just one thing I want to mention. But anyways, let's go over some of the res results that I've gotten. So I've, um, it's been about, uh, two days since I have recorded the previous video in this training, and I want to kind of wait a little bit before I, you know, film this video to, of course, give the algorithm some time to, of course, warm things up. So, you know, you here you see on the first account, the first video that I made, and then I posted two more videos since then, one uh, yesterday at 1 p.m., uh, and then I posted another one today, um, like, earlier this afternoon or technically yesterday since it's 12 a.m. right now but anyway so yeah you see here's another video so as you could see on this first account so far nothing too crazy you know pretty average views um you know 200 views on that and then yeah hasn't not any of these videos have hit 500 views yet however with account number two as you could see uh this one is actually performing better than the first account and which, you know, this is why I recommended that we, we, we create multiple accounts here. And so we see first video got 500 views. 
I don't know what happened there. First video got 500 views. Uh, next one got 800, almost 900 views. So I'm expecting by tomorrow morning it'll probably be well over 1,000. And then we got this one that I, had, that I posted a few hours ago that got 300 views. So this one's looking pretty decent so far. Um, but of, of course, you know, it will only get better as long as I continue to post videos consistently. And so, um, you know, here we have account number three. This one's actually looking really well. Uh, 500 views on the first video. We have the first video that I made that crossed a thousand views within um, like 24 hours. And then we have another one that is almost at 400 views. So looking pretty good. Um, account four. Um, so there's actually supposed to be three videos on this account. However, a uh, <laughs> bit of an update, bit of a funny story here. Not so funny, actually. So unfortunately, with the TikTok algorithm and also with Instagram and Pinterest and a lot of these short form video uh, platforms, and I, I think I even mentioned this in um, in a, in one of the previous videos, actually. And unfortunately, there isn't really much you could do about this. But I have had a few videos, including the one that was on this account that I posted earlier that uh, got taken down for supposedly like going against the um you know the terms and conditions which i know you know by looking at the video was not the case at all because i had a very similar video on a different account on an older account that didn't get taken down that i posted multiple times so i don't know what the deal was with that but yeah i got the the thing i clicked the button to sub submit an appeal and then they said content can't be restored they said oh it still violates the thing so we're not putting it back up and i'm like okay so yeah, I basically just deleted it off of there, and um, it was interesting. I had, I think, two other videos on these other accounts that I think got taken down initially. I think this one might have got taken down, or one or one of the other other ones. Maybe this one did at first, and then I submitted the appeal, and they put it back up. So, again, with TikTok, the algorithm is pretty random, and unfortunately, when a video gets take, taken down, the only thing that you could do is just click the button that says Submit Appeal, and then hope for the best, right? So... Yeah, it's really just a matter of posting consistently and then just, you know, trying and hoping and praying that the videos that get taken down get taken back up and they, they appeal them and, you know, and all that type of stuff. But anyways, account number five, 500 views. I don't know why the screen's flickering. 800, almost 900, and then 253 views. So, so far, this is the uh, type of results that I'm getting for the five accounts. Nothing too crazy as of yet, but again, this is something that I'm going to have to, of course, keep going. And um, I actually remember with the um, the older accounts that I've had, which I think all five of them are like around uh, like 10,000 like followers at this point now. Um, I remember when I first started, you know, doing exactly what I'm showing you here. Um, it did take a while for those initial five accounts to build up. And so it was once I had that first video on each account go viral. Um Sorry, I'm looking at my cat. She was like sick earlier today. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it was once I had that first video that went viral. That was when, you know, it became easier and easier. And then, you know, once TikTok saw that people were engaging quite a lot with one video, then they decided to push out more videos. And then it became kind of like a snowball effect. So I'm expecting a very similar thing to happen with, you know, um, these new accounts right here is it'll take it a little bit initially to build up, you know, the first video, few videos that I post may not get the type of, of um, you know, views. And I'll be sure to show you my, you know, exact results. I'll be very transparent here and you'll be able to see, you know, exactly the type of results that I get. And so the reason why I'm actually, you know, saying all this is because this is the type of mindset that you want to have when you're getting into this. You might go a week, two weeks where you're posting videos consistently and then you might start to have doubts, which I actually did when I first started doing this. I had doubts thinking, okay, is this thing actually working? I started to kind of doubt myself, like, w is there something wrong with my voice or my face or the background? Or, you know, <laughs> is, is there something wrong with me or the, the way I'm speaking in the videos that is causing people to just scroll past or whatever? Or TikTok just doesn't like me for some reason? Like, what what is it? Why are my videos going viral? And then all of a sudden, I had that first video go viral. And then, you know, my confidence went up. I'm like, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, I get really excited. And then I post more videos. And then those next videos go viral. And then I post another video. And then that video pops off too. And then, you know, and that's typically what happens. And then from there, you know, that's when I start to see more leads coming in. And then also more sales coming in. So, yeah. So that's just something that I thought I would, of course, put... Free up storage space. <laughs> when I, uh, before I started filming this video, it said... um. I had 45 minutes to record 
un until the video just like cuts off because I got to free some space. But I think I'll be good for this one. I'm not going to go, you know, like insanely deep into it. But yeah, so far, you know, views are decent. No sales yet, but I'm going to keep going and we'll, of course, take it from there. Um, let's go to the next section of here. Uh, I want to go over the recommended apps to download for future use. And I'm going to connect my phone. Uh, I'm actually going to show it on here because, well, that'll... You know, I'll also go over um, this section as well, which will be on my phone as well. Um, so recommended apps to download for future use. I'm going to see if I could uh, connect my phone to here. All right, cool. So I had to, um, <laughs> yeah, I mentioned that I had 45 minutes to record. Apparently, I just cut off at like 11 minutes and I, I kept talking for a few more minutes and then realized that I, I, it cut off on me like minutes ago. So that was kind of annoying, but let's get back into it. So uh, recommended apps. I got my phone connected here. Here you see my uh, phone screen. And so um, the apps that I'm going to recommend that you download and, you know, depending on whatever device you're on, go to either Google Play or the App Store or whatever and find, you know, whatever apps um, to download here. Um, I have them all uh, kind of listed out in this folder right here on my home screen. And so the first app is pretty obvious. It's TikTok. You know, you, I'm assuming you have that app already. Um, next is Instagram. And then you're going to want to download Pinterest and then YouTube. And then um, also one other one you could download, this one's kind of optional, is YouTube Studio. This basically will show um, like the analytics of um, like different videos that you've uploaded to YouTube. And so that's one other thing you can, of course, get, in, uh, get as well. Um, and then um, there's another app here called CapCut. And basically what this is, this is actually a... Um, an app where you can basically record uh, TikTok videos. So very much like if I, you know, like I open up like the camera option right here, I click on camera. And so I could actually, you know, I could just record, I could record videos, you know, just like this. I'm recording on here and on here. <laughs> and so um, you could actually record TikTok videos using this app as well. And then, you know, you could simply, you know, um, what's nice about the CapCut Cap Cap app is you could actually film um, you could film and then pause and then also, um, you could also like, um, like film, like, you know, like, let's say you film like, you know, like each, like multiple sections of a video, you could actually edit like a certain part out and then, you know, like replace it with like a different video clip that you record. And so it has a lot more features than like the TikToks built in editor. And then also you could use like, um, like if I open up one of these here, right. Um, what's nice about this app is you could add in like different like font styles so if i click on add text and um you know i guess i don't want to get too much into it like right here but you know i could do like well i'll mainly be getting more into this in like a separate video but basically what this does is it'll is it allows you to record videos on tiktok and the reason why i specifically recommend this app although it is optional you don't really have to download it the reason i recommend it is specifically if you were to post this like you know you record a video in CapCut right and you know you post it to TikTok you know typically if you take you know like a video you post on TikTok and you post it on like other platforms like Instagram Pinterest or YouTube I know specifically with intro uh, with Instagram they uh, they tend to not like videos that they f that they know are from TikTok so like if they see a TikTok watermark or if it you know looks like a TikTok video then generally speaking, they don't really like that as much. And then they tend to not push a video that might perform well on TikTok, but, you know, not so much on Instagram. So what's nice about CapCut is you could record the video in there and then just post that video to each of your accounts on the different platforms. And then what you could also do with CapCut is let's say that, um, so like, you know, if, if you want to get into like, you know, creating different domain links for, um, like each specific social media platform, like for example, if you want to create like a tracking link that says like, um, uh, you know, like, you know, this, you know, these sales came from Instagram, right? Or like, you know, these ones came from TikTok, right? So you post a video on TikTok first. And then, you know, what you could do is you could actually edit this video and then, you know, pretty much duplicate this and then make another version where instead of it saying, you know, like my main domain here, multiplex profits, I could have a different domain that will instead um, be tracked to Instagram, right? And so that's, you know, one other thing that you can do. I personally 
Um, I don't really go out of my way for that much because, you know, if I see that a video is going viral and I start to get lots of sales, then generally speaking, I know where that came from. And so in my case, I specifically have a domain name that is made for the short form video platforms. And then I also have a domain name that's specifically for like, you know, these YouTube videos that I have right here, right? So that's pretty much how I have it set up. But if you want to take that extra step, you know, that's completely optional. You just buy another domain like what I showed in video two and then simply do that, you know, that way. And then the final um, one that I recommend is actually not an app, but it's a website actually that we'll of course be using is uh, this right here, which is uh, snaptick.app. So if you go on Google Chrome or any browser that you use and you just type in snaptick.app, it'll bring you over to this website right here. All you have to do is um, this allows you to download TikTok videos without the watermark, right? And this uh, will help if you are going to be posting your TikTok videos to other platforms. Um, it kind of prevents it from making it look like it's from TikTok, right? And so, you know, that is, of course, um, it's pretty simple to do. I'll, of course, you know, dive into this in a future video, but that's, um, of course, what I would go over, um, what I would use right there. So now that we, we've went over that, let's go over how to come up with endless viral TikTok ideas, right? So I'm going to open up TikTok on my phone, and I decided to do this specifically in the app because unfortunately on the browser, um, it actually doesn't let me show this. So it doesn't let me, me do like the filter type of thing that I want to show here. So I'm going to go back to my uh, phone screen here. And so um, to find viral TikTok ideas, you know, you'll want to go to the uh, discover tab down here at the bottom, go to the, the search bar at the top. And then, you know, you want to type in like a very general broad keyword relating to the niche. So either make money online, make money from home, or um, in my case, I know the videos that have performed very well for me in the past are the side hustle videos. Um, so if you search up like side hustles, uh, what you'll see here is you'll see a ton of videos right on the homepage that have like, you know, 25,000 views, 54,000 views, 50, you know, almost like some like even like 100,000 views. I've had uh, multiple videos myself that have crossed 100,000 views. And so what you could do here is you could simply go through here and like, like, for example, the second one, uh, this one, um, you know, this kid who looks like he's like 14 or 15 or something. Um, <laughs> uh, so he posted this video three days ago and already has uh, like 92,000 likes on this video, which is pretty insane. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy right there. So if you see any video that has performed well, what I would recommend that you do is you want to see if you can make a very similar video to that. So you basically like present the same information, you know, pay attention to how. So like this is a uh, like testing TikTok side hustles video, right? So it's like, you know, is this legit or not? And then, you know, at the end, most likely he gives a call to action to his to his number one recommended side hustle that he you know, uh, uses or promotes, right? So basically what you want to do is you want to, you know, study these, these types of videos, study videos that of course do well and see if you can model, you know, what's exactly working for other creators, right? So pay attention to how they're starting their video, pay attention to the, um, you know, the, uh, the text that they're, that they're using in the video and then, you know, pay attention to what they show throughout the video. Uh, so he's showing like fish on here, which is, uh, interesting. And then, um, Hold up. And then, you know, you want to, you know, simply go through it. And then at the end, let me see if you show something. I have my volume down in case of copyright. Okay, so it doesn't look like he had any sort of call to action at the end, but he probably could have done that if he wanted to and probably could have got lots of traffic to that. Maybe this maybe this was just like, um, you know, follow for more type video. So you could have that as a call to action. So if you promote, you know, getting more followers... Uh, I know that's one thing that will get TikTok to push your videos more out to more people. So that's one thing that I would uh, that I thought I'd mention right there. But um, here's uh, one creator that I've seen that is doing very well. So you know, top five TikTok side hustles, right? And this one's he, you know, he's mainly just you know in front of the camera. You know, first one's Fiverr, second one's couch flipping. Um, you know, third one is reselling used items, and then DoorDash. And then number five is check the comments for my number one recommendation, I believe, right? Yeah, check the comments for my number one recommendation. 
okay, real estate bird dog. That's pretty cool. I thought it would be like a link to one of his, like, to like a product he was recommending. But yeah, you could easily do that and then say like, hey, you know, for the number one re recommendation, either go in the comments and you include the link there or, you know, go up here, go to this link right here and check out my number one recommendation and I'll show you exactly how to blank, right? So just like that. And then what you could also do to take this a step further is you could uh, click the top right icon right here. And then um, it'll bring up this filter menu. If you click on most liked, and then also if you filter by like, you know, recent videos, so like, um, you know, like made like this month or like this week, we'll do this month for this example. This will show recent videos that were posted that are blowing up, right? So for example, this one was posted um, about like a week ago, right? That has a side hustle hashtag and it has almost a million likes. So I don't think that really has anything to do with side hustles, though. It doesn't look like it. But if we scroll down a bit more, see, the thing I don't like about Reese, about a lot of these newer videos, some of them look overproduced, and I want to stick with videos that are simple to make. So you know, you might have to scroll down a little bit, but um, let's see. Filling the voids in people's lives. Um, Yeah, so if we scroll down a bit here, we'll see some that we could uh, potentially make. Okay, so like this guy, right? You know, this is the video. Actually, this is a different video from what I showed earlier, right? Um, but you could simply uh, follow his account. And it looks like he's got a ton of like viral potential content that you can simply model off of. And so when you make your video, one other thing that I, I want, want to also mention is not only do you want to have a similar video, what I would also recommend is click the sound in the bottom right click add to favorites and then when you post your video uh use that same sound that, that creator uses use because this is of course proven to to work and then also what i would recommend is use the exact same um hashtags that this creator has of course used right here um so one other thing that i also will recommend and this is something that i've actually been doing so when i uh record my videos the way that i like to do it personally is when I have a video that I'm like trying to model off of and I'm trying to make my own version of the video, of course, everyone kind of has their own method of doing this. But what I like to do is I, I like to have one account that I'm logged into on my PC right here. So like, you know, this account I currently have that I'm logged in. And so anytime that I find a video that I, you know, would like to model off of, like if I'm just scrolling, you know, through TikTok the other day and I see a video that has done very well, I will like the video. So I'll click the heart and then it'll go into my liked folder. And then these are all videos that, um, you know, these are all videos that I found that have performed well for other people. So I spent some time, you know, scrolling a bit, looking at other videos, and I simply liked a bunch of them. So that this way I could easily just, you know, on my PC, I'll find a video that I like, and then I will have that video open. Like, for example, I made this video on one of my accounts recently, right? Um, and so I had this open on my PC, and then what I did was... You know, I, you know, watch the intro of a video and then I, you know, I filmed that. I filmed that, you know, my version of that on, on my phone with the CapCut app. And then as she went through what I did, so then, you know, then she shows like the, uh, like, okay, so go to Etsy.com and do this and blah, 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 right? And then what I did was I, I had this open on my PC and then I opened up a second window, a second Google Chrome window, and then I went to Etsy.com. And then I filmed the rest, uh, uh, the rest of that, you know, the rest of that video, right? So then I flip my phone screen around. I'm like, okay, first thing you want to do is go to Etsy.com and do this, right? And you know, then do this, and then go here and do that, right? And then, and then I watched till the end. And then she had a call to action at the end of her video that said, like, I think like and follow for more, right? Or for part two. And so then, you know, I flipped it back to the end, you know, showing my face again. And then I said, hey, you know, if you want an even better side hustle than this, you could check out my number one recommendation. And this is the most, uh, the best side hustle that I found, you know, here in TikTok, right? And so you could do, you know, just like that. Then you have your link displayed at the top. And that's exactly how I went about, how I go about, you know, filming a lot of these videos that I uh, post in these accounts. So these uh, side hustle videos I found personally have performed very well for me in the past. And so I'm going to, of course, stick with these. Um... You know, but of course, I will, of course, be experimenting with other video types as well. So I want to actually dive into the next section of the training right here, which is the TikTok 
um, video stru uh, structure to follow and, uh, you know, simply tips and tricks to follow. I'm going to kind of uh, disconnect my phone real quick. So now I want to go over actually um, the TikTok video formula to follow. So generally speaking, the uh, formula that you want to follow with your videos is, you know, along the lines of hook, value, and pitch, right? Or hook, story, offer, right? You know, you probably heard this if you read any of Russell Brunson's uh, books. But when you follow a lot of uh, videos on TikTok, well, you'll, you'll, you'll notice a trend of, of, um, of what has worked for, you know, successful videos. So generally speaking, when you see a successful video, you know, there's usually some sort of hook in the beginning where either something about their energy, something about the way that they've sp they've spoken, or if there was like movement really quickly, that's one thing that's known to capture attention. Or they say something, you know, they say like, I'm going to show you exactly how to, and then, you know, they, they, they make their, um, you know, their, their claim, right? And then, you know, so that's how they, they hook you into watch. And they're like, okay, I want to learn more. So then they show you that. And then at the end, they pitch to be like either a better solution. Or if you want to dive deeper in this topic, go here to learn more or visit the link in bio, that type of stuff right there. So this is really the formula that you want to follow. And I also want to give you five tips for the best results. So tip number one, this is this should be pretty obvious. Post consistently every day for for the next 90 days straight. If you do this consistently, right? You stick at it. You don't give up after a week. You don't quit and be like, oh, I tried this for two days. This didn't work. Scam, 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 scam. You're, you're lying and all that, right? If you commit to this, right, and you decide to post consistently, you may not see results right away. You may not see results within the first week or two. But if you stick at it long enough, then you will start to see results, right? Um, and so next thing that I'll recommend is find anywhere from three to ideally five creators that you resonate with. So if you find people that you see are getting great results, especially what I would also recommend, um, if you go into the, hope this didn't log me out, but, um, if we, we go to the, uh, multiple income funnel, uh, dashboard, if we go up to the, uh, leaderboard section right here. What you'll find is the top, you know, 10 or top five, you know, top 10, top 10 people that are getting either the most referrals or, you know, most leads. And so anytime that you see someone crushing the leaderboards, you know, see, seeing someone, you know, that is uh, getting lots of great results. Um, what I recommend is see if you could find them on social media. So most of these guys, I know um, this guy right here, John Arksberger, he was doing extremely well on uh, TikTok. Actually, I was following a bunch of his accounts. I don't know if he's still on TikTok. I tried looking for his videos recently and I couldn't find him. But, you know, he, he had a lot of really great videos that I was modeling off of that that were doing well. And so a lot of these other guys are on there as well. I believe um, Elena. Elena, I know, is on TikTok. And, you know, quite a few other people as well. Michael and Jessica, of course. Um, Jeff Rees, I believe, was on there. Garrett Berry started making videos recently. So each of these people, you know, that, you know, that are promoting the, the program, if you see people that are, you know, crushing with the program, then obviously they're doing something right on, you know, either TikTok or other platforms and see if you could, if you could find them or any other affiliate marketers that are doing really well, find their accounts. And then of course, you know, simply give them a follow and of course, start to watch their videos consistently, right? If you could find ideally five accounts that you resonate with, then these are video uh, creators you could simply model off of over and over and over again with each of their videos, right? And then number three is always test multiple formats in different video styles to see what works best for you. Um, in my case, personally, I found that these side hustle videos that I'm, you know, filming, you know, kind of like this, these videos I found have performed very, very well for me in the past. And so I'm going to continue rolling with these. If for whatever reason, I don't get the results that I did with the previous accounts, then, um, I'll be sure to, uh, you know, change things up, of course, and you know, you'll see that in the series. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. And then, you know, this will, of course, be getting into in um, another, um, you know, in a future video, actually, most likely the next one is to repost videos on multiple platforms. So if TikTok doesn't go so well, it's not that big of a deal because you still have Pinterest, you have Instagram, you have YouTube Shorts, and you have probably plenty of other platforms that will be popping up as well. So, I mean, you have plenty of options plenty of opportunity to get lots of views, lots of leads and lots of sales, right? So don't worry if you don't see results right away, stick at it and be on multiple platforms. You'll definitely see results with this. And then 
Number five is try to be somewhat unique. See what you could add to the spin. You know, if you try to be just like everyone else, um, you know, expect average results. But if you could do something unique, like, for example, you present yourself as energetic or excited or knowledgeable, right? You know, then what, what's going to happen is you're going to um, build a following of people that will get to know, like, and trust you. You know, you know it's kind of like if you have ever, like, you know, let's say that you've worked a job, right? Or, you know, in, you know, this workplace, you know, typically you hate working there, right? Um, and so, you know, let's say that there is, like, one coworker or something that you really like working with, right? You know, you, um, you see that you are scheduled to work a day with them, and then you generally get excited to go to work that day because, you know, you're working with someone that, you know, something about them, whether it's their energy or whatever it is, or, you know, you and that person just click and then, you know, it makes it exciting to be at work, right? So try and see if you could be that type of person when you're on TikTok that people, you know, they're excited to see on, on, on social media. If you could, you know, in some way do that, or you could some way present yourself as unique, add your own spin to the, to the table, then this will, of course, help you immensely in the long term so of course this is something that may not come right away if you're brand new you know if you are just getting into this but as long as you, as you keep going you'll eventually find your voice and then you'll of course start to get comfortable doing this right so that's pretty much everything that i have planned for you in this uh specific video and i uh, hope you of course enjoy this if you did let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if there's any questions that you had or if you feel like i've went too quick or too slow or if there's something that didn't make sense Drop a comment down below, and I'll be sure to answer that as, uh, as best as I can. Or perhaps I will dive into it in a future video. Anyways, thanks so much again for tuning in, and take care. See you in the next one.